थैंक यू मैम फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी एज माय फ्रेंड डॉक्टर आकांक्षा इज ऑलरेडी कवर्ड पार्ट ऑफ किराटोकोनस आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द रेस्ट ऑफ द इरेगुलर कॉर्नियाज सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द टिप ऑफ आइसबर्ग दैट इज कॉन्टैक्ट लेंस इन इरेगुलर कॉर्नियाज सो नो फाइनेंशियल इंटरेस्ट सो वाई वी वॉन्ट टू कवर दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज नॉट एवरी कॉन्टैक्ट लेंस फिट्स एवरी आई सो वी कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर देर आर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ इरेगुलर कॉर्नियाज so what are this specialty contact lenses basically these are specialized contact lenses which are designed for exceptional cases so what are the various exceptional cases which we see in our opds so one is the uh, keratoconus which we have already discussed then besides that we also have pellucid marginal degeneration we have scarred corneas then we have post lasik rk post prk post pk we also have post intacts dry eyes then even some high astigmatism prescriptions so what are the various options available for these type of eyes so we have uh, conventional corneal lenses of rgb then we have piggy back system we have hybrid lens system custom soft toric lenses rose ke family of lenses also we have scleral lenses so what are the basically uh, requirements or the indications of corneal rgb lenses so they are made up of pmma and they are indicated in cases of early to moderate keratoconus also in corneal scars high astigmatism as they are very easy to fit but still they are associated with various disadvantages which include high contact intolerance then there are frequent contact lens displacements the visual acuity is unsatisfactory despite being good contact lens fit and not all patients can be fitted with rgp so what if the patient cannot tolerate rgp so the other options are like piggy back lenses hybrid lenses and custom soft toric lenses so what are piggy back lenses as we can see in the picture there is a rigid lens which is fitted over a hydrogel lens so as a result of this it increases the comfort resulting in adequate wearing time with good vision so again the advantages include that it reduces the mechanical trauma because of the hard lens material which can happen in rgp that it improves the patient's tolerance it heals the epithelial erosions and the combination with the comfort of silicon hydrogen lens but with the optical superiority of the rigid lens but it is again associated with some potential problems which includes that we have to pay for two lenses handling and care of two different type of lenses is completely different then difficulty in obtaining centration of rigid lenses over the soft lenses and there are associations of hypoxia and neovascularizations so then we came for a new solution which is called the hybrid soft uh, lens it includes rgb plus soft lens so as again you can see in the picture there is a rigid gas permeable lens at the center and soft exterior so contact lens with rgb central portion and a soft lens material skirt but again it is associated with some complications like flexure of the central lens which is the hard lens leading to astigmatism and decreased visual results there are always association of difficulties with insertion and removal of such type of lenses and there uh, the cases i've seen that there is tearing at the junction of gp lens and hydrogel skirt so then we came for custom toric soft contact lens so these uh, have three zones they are a uh, silicon material they are tri curve posterior design with increased corneal thickness and we have various lenses available in this category like kerasoft ic and puricon lens as you can see in the picture there are three curves at the posterior design so indication of such lenses include from first a keratoconus then we have high astigmatism and post lasik ataxia again there are disadvantages like it is not suitable for advanced cases and there is a compromised vision clarity compared to rgp lenses then we came to rose k lens so rose k lens is a it has a complex geometry which can be customized to suit each eye and correct it can correct all type of myopia astigmatism which is associated with keratoconus so they are very easy to insert remove and clean they provide excellent health to the eye because they allow cornea to breathe oxygen directly through the lens so we have various type of lenses in this includes rose k2 which is available for oval keratoconus nipple keratoconus and early pellucid marginal degeneration so we also have k2 nc all this uh, differ on the basis of the edge lift so we have uh, rose k2 nc for moderate to steep nipple cones we have rose k2 ic for pellucid marginal degenerations 
keratoglobus, lasik induced ectasia, post graft, and we also have a specialized range of rose K2 post graft for patients who have undergone penetrating keratoplasty. Then we have scleral lens, which we have already seen. So these scleral lenses, why we prefer them? Because they give a lot of comfort, which is equal to or better than the soft lenses. Then the vision associated with clear lenses is equivalent to RGP optics, and it can be used for eye health in cases like dry eye, epi defects, and ocular surface diseases. And they are usually not lost. So again, the indications include advanced keratoconus, where contact lenses do not work, and poor compliant patient or patient refuse surgery, then com they completely neutralize the corneal irregularities. As you can see, and we have already seen in the previous slide with Dr. Krishna, that they, it, uh, the, when we insert a scleral lens, there are three zones formed. So how do these lenses work? So basically, there is no corneal bearing. Corneal clearance is present. Limbal clearance is present. There is a tear reservoir between the lens and the eye. And the final lens depends on the corneal elevation and sagittal depth of the eye at the point of bearing of the sclera, which we have already seen. So again, it is associated with various advantages like better comfort, less mechanical trauma to the cornea, and better vision. But again, why then the scleral lens is not popular? Because it is very expensive. It is a large lens diameter. It needs practice to insert and remove the lens. It needs more maintenance. There is lack of expertise to fit, and there are various complications when patients wear it for overnight.